Welcome back to the second hour of Ozarks Fox AM. I'm Jeremy Ray with my special guest co-host of the day, Kenya Will Heights. Hey there. Good morning. Good morning. And of course, we have Dr. Amy Blanta here who is making authentic paella. 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 I was trying to say pa. it correctly. Yep. Paella. Uh, fresh off her trip back from Spain. And it, if you could smell this, everybody who walks in now is like, the smell is incredible. It smells delicious. Yeah, well, it's that amazing mix of uh, paprika, and not a spicy paprika, um, and it's something we don't cook with as often, and mm -hmm. it's really traditional mm -hmm. in Spanish food, so. So tell yeah. us what you've done so far, because the last time we were here, just the chicken just the, was in. Yes, so continue turning the meat around the outside, uh, you then saute some garlic, um, right in the middle of that for a minute or two, and then that goes to the outside. The green beans go in for two to three minutes. Those are brought fresh from Dan Bigsby and his farm um, for us to use today. And then uh, those go to the outside, and then you put in the paprika and let it sit for another minute or two in the oil and really kind of roast mm -hmm. into it. Mm -hmm. And then the final thing we've just added is tomatoes. Um, I was telling you, normally in uh, this dish, you would grate the tomatoes and that allows it to kind of mix into the total like roux at the end. Right. Um, today we diced them up really uh, well and they'll continue to cook down and, and they'll be fine. Don't okay. worry, it'll still be mostly authentic. So yeah. this is the quicker version. Yes, this yeah, is the it's one hour. the TV version. It is the TV version. Right. Still, it takes an hour. Uh -huh. The uh, real version is about a two hour process. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's quick question cook. then too. Is it true, and I have visited Europe many times, uh, people eat dinner very late there. So like yes. if this takes two hours, you're not eating until Correct. Like so, nine, so, ten at um, night? Right, I told you I was traveling with my mother and she would be like, oh, I'm so hungry and nothing is open between, you know, when restaurants close from lunch at four until 8.30, maybe oh. the chef is showing up. Oh my so we went uh, to dinner and they were like, uh, well, we'll serve you a drink, but our chef just showed up. Nothing's... <laughs> Nothing's warm. Uh, do you want a salad? And we started dinner about 9.30. So yeah, wow. very late there. Yeah. Yes. I don't know how well I would do that, especially with my schedule. No, so. yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Well, not, not many people are watching a morning show. Their morning is, you know, it would be like 10 a.m. when they're taking their um, first form of breakfast. Right. And it's more yes, laid back there, though. Very laid back. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, and so what did you just add? added the saffron. So I know. saffron's so much easier to get in Spain. It's grown easier there. So it's also, again, a part of a lot of their dishes. The same, you put it in the middle. Um, here, the saffron we get is often powdery. So you'd want to put it into a little oil or a little water first, let it simmer in that, and then add it into the dish. But oh. I've brought saffron with me. I now bootleg. I don't know if that's... <laughs> I know, I know you, that. you should you say that on TV? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. By the yeah. way, too, I know you're looking at this at, through your TV, and it's not even doing it justice how no, it's beautiful, beautiful the smell. Mm -hmm. We're so excited. And also, Tom, I've invited you over at the end of the show. If you'd like to try authentic pae paella, mm -hmm. you're more than welcome to join, to join us, Tom. I'm just saying. I, I don't need an invitation for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be over as fast as I can get there, don't you yeah, worry. Yeah, it looks amazing, and the smell, just incredible, Tom. It really is. Yeah, the smell is really fantastic, folks. I can imagine cooking this at home. Oh, if you've got kids, they'd be reaching for the fridge right now just wanting something to eat because it just makes you so hungry.